A Vietnam veteran with terminal cancer says his last Christmas wish is to make a snow angel. And new here at 6 tonight, ABC Action News reporter Nicole Gregg with a call to action to make this surprise happen. Basic snow. If, if that could be done. Joe Mastery turning to us for his cousin's final request. I asked him, well, if there was a wish that I could give you, or if there's a wish we could have, what would it be? It was that question with his Vietnam veteran cousin, Albert Septian, diagnosed with stage four melanoma cancer. And he said to me, I want to be able to make snow angels just like we used to do as kids. Al has no idea we were outside his house learning about his story, his service, and his love for the U.S. I said, I'm going to try and make that wish come true. And of course, he's not very optimistic these days. He's, uh, he tells me, that, yeah, this is Florida. This is, this is Tampa. You're crazy. The 76-year-old's cancer has spread to his bones, lungs, kidneys. Um, the diagnosis um, has been linked to the Agent Orange. Um, the PTSD he suffered, of course, as most veterans from that era did. The request to bring the snow to Al in his front yard, right under his American flag. I just feel that um, this would really go a long way to making him feel the spirit of Christmas one more time. And I asked why a snow angel? Joe thinks it's because snow links back to childhood memories with Al's mother, who is now his angel. In Tampa, Nicole Grigg, ABC Action News. All right, and we just got an update that the Black Daggers Military Hunt Club, known for helping veterans, are now stepping in. They plan to pay for snow to be delivered next Monday at 11 a.m. outside Al's house. And we're talking, by the way, 16,000 pounds of snow.